There are definitely different types of businesses. And I'm experiencing that right now when I started reselling uh, my reselling journey, which was, believe it or not, this is going to be 10 years, guys, this year. In September is when I sent out my very first shipment, FBA shipment of books. So when I first started selling <clears throat> or reselling, it was books. I first started going to thrift stores. Then that led to library book sales, estate sales, garage sales, that type of thing. <clears throat> and I was doing just fulfilled by Amazon, which is um, paying for the books listing them on Amazon, putting them in a box, putting a label on them, putting them in a box, etc. shipping it out to a warehouse. When they sell, they ship it. And I did that for a couple years, FBA only, <clears throat> although within about a year, year and a half, I started introducing CDs and then VHS tapes and then records, FBA, all FBA. But my point is, my overall point is that I was essentially <clears throat> self-employed, uh, I didn't have like a business in the sense of that there's other moving parts beyond me. I was doing everything. And now uh, that has evolved as you, if you've watched this channel for a while, you will know that it's evolved now <clears throat> into me selling all kinds of stuff on Amazon and then into doing Merchant Fulfilled and then uh, getting on eBay, dropping FBA doing only Merchant Fulfilled and now doing much more on eBay than on Amazon. And of course, as you can see, opening a local store. Now I continue to do it by myself, uh, doing everything online by myself, <clears throat> uh, and then opening the store and running it by myself. However, through the last few years, I have hired somebody to list on eBay for me, which lasted a little while. I think that was I don't know, eight months, 10 months, something like that with that particular person. Um, once that ended, then I found someone else who helped me list on eBay for quite a while, listed hundreds and hundreds of items for me, <clears throat> many, many, many books, many other items. And so I had someone that I was paying to do that. So that became more of like a business where I wasn't doing everything. I would give them the items, they would list it at home, bring it back, I'd give them more. So I did that between the two of them for a couple of years. And then as I <clears throat> grew this local store here. I hired several people to work here. I actually had three different, no, no, I'm sorry, four different people now that I've had working here. And so where I am right now is I don't have anybody listing for me. I am doing all of that myself. Uh, but I do have help in the store here tomorrow. I'll have someone working. And right now, this is my overall point right now, my second location has just opened. It's only open two days a week for essentially 12 hours a week, but two days, Fridays and Saturdays. So right now, as I'm making this video, <clears throat> someone that we hired recently is working there for the third weekend. And that is the start of building a business. And it's kind of been, it's it's sort of been like, uh, what's, the, what's the phrase? I forgot the phrase, but essentially you get going and you know take a few steps forward, a few steps back kind of a thing. Uh, where you hire somebody, doesn't work out, or in, in, in the instance of this location, I did hire people, but it really fluctuated a lot in terms of how busy it was, and it just wasn't making financial sense to keep them on, uh, although I did have to let go of one person <clears throat> for other reasons, which was unfortunate, but that's something you learn along the way when you hire somebody, when you have an employee working for you. But the difference between running it, doing everything on your own, which I'm still largely doing, and then starting to move in the direction of having a business that you have people helping you do some things, right? Like there's no way I can be here and in the other location. Obviously I can only be in one place at one time. Um, and you know, that's what I'm, that's what I want to build. I want to, I'm seeing the rest of this year and it's hopefully that person works out and they stick with it. And hopefully the, you know, based on what I've learned here that that new location, which is just books, it's a standalone bookstore, is in it's in a retail space versus uh, here where it's a warehouse that's not a traditional retail location. Uh, hopefully that works out based on what you know I've learned here and what what we're going to learn going forward, and and that area, <clears throat> and so that it's still open and continues to be open. That's the idea that um, I have someone working there that I can rely on, trust, and they're doing a good job, and so then. If that makes enough money, then we can consider opening other days, that kind of thing. 
and that's where I want to head. And also with, with the business here, uh, this one here, I don't know if that's going to be possible because of where it is, although I've built up a pretty steady flow of repeat customers. Um, and people, you know, find me like they did today for the first time because of the signs I put on the street. So it's doing pretty well. Um, and that's why I can have someone come out on Saturday and work. Uh, but consistently week in and week out, I can't really afford someone to be working all the time because uh, it's just not quite fair yet. Um, but that's okay because I don't mind working here. I get a lot of stuff done in terms of going through inventory, <clears throat> listing, uh, that type of thing. So that's okay for now. Uh, but going forward, I do want <clears throat> uh, to hire somebody. Once I get through these Gaylords, I, like I've talked about in other videos, uh, to focus on mixed me pallets of mixed media because I need all, all the different types of main media, like essentially DVDs and Blu-rays, video games, uh, CDs, uh, to you know, and TV box sets as well. Uh, find those, and there's gonna be some VHS tapes in there as well. Um, some audiobooks all mixed in. There'll even occasionally be some cassette tapes. All of that stuff uh, for the store here, and just also, um, you know, to sell a variety of items. And you know, with my experience and all that, knowing what stuff sells for and how to research it, and and all that type of all that type of fun stuff. Uh, but going forward, I want with the mixed media palettes to create a system where either I can get through it efficiently initially, uh, and then down the road, I would like to have help with that, uh, hire somebody, even if it's only a couple days a week. I mean, ideally, the, the, what I've been envisioning is I have a separate warehouse, like one next to this here, uh, that would be dedicated to online. So I'd have someone coming in in the mornings, working like four hours or something like that, getting through a Gaylord, sorting through it all. Um, and then I would have somebody that I would have listing. So the idea would be get through a Gaylord or two a day. Um, even just one Gaylord is huge. And I, what I mean getting through it, I mean emptying it completely, but sorting it, right? DVDs here, video games there, CDs there, et cetera, et cetera. And then teaching the person once they've done that, um, ideally to to go through it right and to figure out what is worth looking at and what's not that's kind of something that'll be ironed out as i go through it uh and essentially create um you know a system for that which i know a lot of people do a lot of bigger sellers do with books and other media and um build that side so have it be sort of separate but also a lot of stuff that i find in there will go in this store uh, as well and you know just I want it to the business to grow a lot, but beyond me, and that, you know, I know labor is expensive. Even minimum wage is expensive here in California. So, um, so I know that costs money. So, so that's while well, the same time having someone in my warehouse listing at the same time. So simultaneously they're listing, you know, let's say they're just working four hours a day, listing 10, 10 items an hour, 40 items a, a day. You do the math. That ends up being quite a lot, um, maybe more. That's just a number I'm throwing out. But um, you know, that is the idea I would I would like because right now I'm sporadically listing because I do everything, so I'm not able to just dedicate myself to that, to finding items, listing them, finding items, listing them. I have to, you know, do other things as well. Um, but I I've learned so much on eBay and on Amazon that I know what to list. I know what to price it, all that kind of stuff. It's just a matter of getting a well-oiled machine going. So in the vein of this video um, is I want to move, to, I am moving towards a true business in the sense of it's more and more running with systems in place that are beyond the hours I have to put into it. Um, now, I know a lot of people out there are not interested in that. They just want to build it as big as they can by themselves. And that's the awesome thing about reselling, whether you're doing it on Amazon or eBay or both, which is what I recommend, uh, that you can build it, you know, pretty big. Uh, you can definitely do it by yourself in media, in books and all other types of media. You can definitely make a nice living. Um, you can make 50 grand. You can make 80 grand. You can make over a hundred grand 
just by yourself, just doing eBay and Amazon, or even just one of them alone, uh, just doing, you know, books, CDs, all the stuff that I do. Right. Um, and so, you know, you can do that and, and that's great, but, uh, I see the potential of, of growing it even bigger and it's really a matter of getting quality people around me that I trust, that I train, that there's systems in place, and even if they inevitably leave for whatever reason, that I can hire somebody else and plug them into the system and, tr and get them trained. That's really the only way that this is going to grow because well, I'm content in what I'm doing. I do love it, but it's hard. Um, to do everything and I will eventually like wear out with that. And so I want to stick to the things that I'm the best at, which right now, which, which, or what I enjoy the most is going through stuff and finding what's valuable, pricing it. That's exciting. Um, I like to organize, it, you know, I have certain things that I like to do in uh, based on everything that I do. I don't, uh, there's certain things I don't like to do. I don't like to restock the shelves necessarily. I don't like to, I don't mind shipping actually, <laughs> but you know, there's, there's certain things that, that aren't, aren't my favorite. So, but it's even beyond that, like having someone do stuff that I do like, but just because there's too much of it, I can't do it all. I can't sort through every single Gaylord and expect to be sorting through them and listing, uh, you know, 500 items a month or, or whatever, whatever the is realistic <clears throat> once I get into that. So just thought I'd talk about that, that, um, the difference between for me and well for everybody essentially in reselling is you know either you're a really highly paid self-employed person which is awesome uh but you know there's only so much you can do you can what can you do you can increase you can't you can't create more hours in the day to work but you can increase the amount of items that you list and therefore sell and also increase the average price that you're selling them for which means you squeeze out more money but at some point, uh, you are going to hit a ceiling or just kind of like a, a rough ceiling. And it could be really high. You know, you, you could definitely do this and make several hundred thousand dollars by yourself just doing online. Uh, many people do it. Uh, but at some point, you'll hit that ceiling. And maybe that ceiling is enough for you. That's great. But I have envisioned a big business and retail as well and growing that a lot more. And that's what I want to head for so I don't have to do everything. And I can give people good jobs that, um, you know, that are rewarding. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Take care.